multi-digit multiplication using number chips. This is pirate themed, and this is a digital lesson on how to multiply with larger numbers. So it starts explaining to the students how to line up the numbers when they're multiplying, same way they would line them up if they were adding or subtracting in the ones place. And then if they're multiplying, you want to make sure that the number with the least in number of digits is in the second row. And here they're going to be multiplying from right to left, 3 times 3, 3 times 2, and then 3 times 5, right to left. It shows how to do that on the next slide. So you want to explain to the students that 3 times 3 is 9, so their 9 is going to go right here. When they multiply 3 times 2, they're actually multiplying 3 times 20. And that's why that 6 would be in the tens place. And then 3 times 5, 15. So they'll start on slide 5. And they have these uh, movable number chips. So they're going to move them into the correct place to do their multiplication. So it starts out with some simpler problems. And it gets more difficult as they go. So here they're going to multiply it right to left. 2 times 2 is 4. So they're going to click and hold on the edge of the 4. 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6 again. And every number that they need is on every slide. So if they get to the end of a problem and the numbers aren't working, that means they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. So 3 times 3, whoops, that would be 9. 3 times 1 would be 3. And then 3 times 7, 21. So they should use every single number on every slide. Next slide, same thing. Now if you'll notice, for each problem there is a letter and a yellow heart. And they're going to use that letter on the very last slide to solve a pirate-themed riddle. So they're going to be matching that letter to their solution. Now here shows what to do if they have to carry a number. So for example, 4 times 7. They're going to they're going to put the 8 in the ones place. That 2, they're going to move it to the next column to the left above the 4. Then when they multiply 4 times 4, they get 16 and they add 2, which will give them 18. They're going to place the 8. The 1 is going to go ahead and move to the column to the left above the 6. So 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So each one of these gets a little bit more difficult. And on the next slide, they have the numbers that they carry are going to be these smaller circles. And they're going to go up here above the numbers. Now when they multiply by a, a two-digit number, so exa for example, three-digit times two-digit, they're going to have a second row host. So they're breaking up their multiplication into three times 312 and then 20 times 312. And because they're multiplying by 20, they have to start this row with a zero. So students are going to be doing these on the next few slides. And then they get into multiplying a four digit by a three digit. And when they do that, that third row of multiplication, since they're multiplying times 100, this row has to start with two zeros. Now when they get to that very last slide, they're going to have a pirate riddle. And it'll be solved by finding these solutions on the previous slides. And then they're going to take the letter that's in the yellow heart, and they're going to type it in the circle. And if they did this correctly, it should solve the riddle. So this is the pirate-themed multi-digit multiplication with number chips.